Hi, Tom Williams. I'm a programs manager with the International Water Association. Okay, great. Um, Tom, uh, I wanted to ask you about your operation and maintenance advisory service. What exactly is it about? Well, it's part of uh, a program that we coordinate with the World Health Organization and the Ministry of Health in Japan uh, called the Operation and Maintenance Network. And the overarching objective is to support operation and maintenance of water and wastewater systems. Uh, so as part of this, we have an advisory service which enables users who have logged into a website, the Operation and Maintenance website, to actually post queries, problems, uh, in relation to operation and maintenance of water and wastewater systems. Okay, who are the users? Are they utilities? Or the are users are mainly, mainly utilities, but we also have NGOs, we also have lo local government agencies as well. It, it's predominantly focused on urban water and wastewater systems. Okay, and are you also looking at issues like wastewater, you know, reuse or... Well, within, the I mean, yeah. within the context of operation and maintenance, not so much, but certainly mm -hmm. Within IWA, it's, it's one of our key topics. We have a very large yeah. specialist group on, okay. on that issue. But it's not a thing that's actually going on? Not within in, the operation in, of yeah, yeah, no, within that network. Okay. And within a utility, who might be a, a user? I mean, who would you see logging in? Normally, it'd be operational staff who would log these uh, queries. And the nice thing is that the responses, so when someone posts a query, an email is sent to a, a group of international experts to see if they can actually respond to it, give some guidance, which might be a document or it might be more of a personal reflection based on experience. And normally they're of the same kind of level of utility, so you've got peer-to-peer -peer, uh, support going on. In, in some instances, we also uh, provide financial um, bursaries for an individual to actually go to a utility to analyse the problem more closely and come up with a bit of an action plan so, to help them out. So is it kind of uh, spray and pray? I mean, shoot a lot of emails out and then... Well, to, to some degree it is, and what we're trying yeah. to do over the coming months is mature that group of expertise so we can better classify them yeah. and we can respond quicker. And what yeah. we're trying to do is to build up on a region-by-region region basis so people yeah. within the same region can help one another. Okay. Have you heard of the Project Knowledge Point? I haven't, no. Okay, well that's one I, I work on. I'll, I'll give you some information later. Yeah. But it, it, it's trying to bring together some of these different uh, expert networks Great. and then you know do some of this triaging as well. So maybe yeah. maybe we should talk a little more after that. Absolutely. So what would you say are, let's say, the, 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 the biggest benefits we might already be seeing out of this and perhaps some of the things that you think are, are challenging and could be better in the future? Well, from a, from a, a topical perspective, um, what we're seeing is lots of guidance being provided on how you can operate more efficiently, how you can operate at a lower operating expenditure, and how you can at the same time improve your service levels. And that enables you then to use some of the cost savings on making improvements. Now, in low middle income countries where access to finance is, is not so great, that's obviously quite an important point, and that's one particular area which we're trying to focus on, uh, operational efficiency gains. Oh, great. Well, thanks a lot, no and uh, all the best. Thank you.